Today's quite an interesting one because we're doing a trial today and we'll just let you know how it goes. We've got Kieran helping out. Hi Kieran. Now let's get through this gate. Hello. Hi Matthew. What are we doing today, Matthew? We're fitting the Alter cow watch collars to the, to the bullying heifers uh, in the hope that they're going to tell us when they're bullying. We haven't bought it yet. We're literally, they are trying to wow us with their amazing technology. It's very new to us. Here we go, look. They're fiddling with their collars. One twist. One twist just on the one or on, on both, both arms. Don't worry, I'll do that bit. You just pass them to me. <laughs> Took it through. Yeah. Back through. Oh, that's really clever, isn't it? Tuck it in, it's all nice and... And then the, the loose ends on the inside then. I just took it. Right, I didn't get that, but we'll watch the pros putting them on then. Scan the cow. If you really want to check, you can double check, but it's easy to do that. You've got the last four digits of the ear tag on the screen there. Just go down to there, 2120, and if somebody shouts out the number... Brilliant. Audio. Yeah, go Fantastic. for it. Do yeah. we have a number? Yep. So how are we going to know? How are you going to know? Because we'll, have, we'll, we'll associate numbers. it on the system. No, but we've got to be able to find the heifer. Oh yeah. They Jack was supposed numbers. to bring yellow numbers for us. Right. We've fallen at the first hurdle. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> we didn't get to the start actually. Oh well, well we got You're close, close. <laughs> So what does this look like then? So it's reasonably light. It seems to be on a fairly strong strap. First impressions are that they are quite cow-proof. What do you think, Kieran? Yeah, they look fine. They're quite tough. Yeah, they look they're they're pretty try sturdy. And get them off the old times. Probably. <laughs> Today they're going to be... Around they will around. be like when you tag them. Is it just, this is just heat so detection? So this rumination. Oh, rumination as well. An activity? They, they settle into the game so easily. I, I always had colours of my cows and... It's far better than the ear tags, as we all know how animals lose ear tags, and at least you can find these if they do happen to come off. But no, we've seen the cows suit them well in heifers. We've never seen such a thing before. But yeah, I think it monitors rumination yeah. and activity. Yeah. Right? So our breeders have come to install the... the no, uh, Alter. Oh, no, our breeders have been bought by Alter. Anyway, okay. Are you just called Alter now? Not our breeders. Look, you've still got our breeders there. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Officially. No, sorry. Yes, forget about our involved. forget about our breeders. Alter. This is all alter. Alter have it's come. It's quite to funny to see them all on their phones. Yeah. <laughs> They're all on their phones. Um, so alter have come because our breeders very kindly offered us activity and rumination collar for our bullying heifers. So this device is made by Nidat in the Netherlands. Marketed in the UK by Alter, that's called the Alter Cow Watch System. So you put a collar on every animal, and there's an aerial in the shed, and it monitors what they're doing. So hopefully, obviously they're a bit more active when they're bullying, and you can see that. Basically, uh, it's a magic device that tells you when the cow's bullying. It's, well, we think so. And 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 feeling unwell. Oh, I'm feeling yeah, unwell. We don't have problem on this. No, one. no, our cows are <laughs> tip top. Yes, <laughs> that is only for farms that aren't very good. That's yeah. for other farms, <laughs> yeah. not this farm. No, there you go. There you go. good, good. I'm oh, just filling in what we're doing. We're gonna because they're heifers and they're not going through the parlour. We're not putting them through the automatic so gate. So we need to spot them in the barn. Yeah. Uh, and to do that we need to, visible numbers to be able to match them up. So we're ordering a load of numbers to put on the collars so that we can see them in the shed um, yeah so we're just trying to work out how many ones how many twos and we're going all the way up to how many cows it is and then you then you need 101 so it's another one yeah. and another That's one great. and another zero while we're waiting for the guys at Alter to get the uh, numbers sorted for the collars before I just pop over home and see how the renovations are getting on we're just at the moment starting the ground source heat up for the first time so that's really exciting we'll go have a quick look oh a bit of flicker on the light but that's all right just to give you an idea Ooh. so this is a ground source heat pump back to the dairy we go 
back to Derry Go, just driving past some uh, some Angus scarves there, lovely. Right, we're here, oh, that's extreme close up. Look at some of the heifer calves. They're doing very well, they start their life outside, but uh, we brought them in now, it's got a bit wet, isn't it? Fair play to you there, you went and got them all. They're all here now. <laughs> so we've got a selection of uh, numbers. What are you up to there? Just whacking the numbers on the collar. Lovely. Yeah, Oh, they are good actually, they're quite big, aren't they? Yeah, so when you see a big one... So we've got to push her forward. You will be alerted if you're on the WhatsApp group, you'll be alerted to animals that are bulling and also animals that are inactive. Um, and that may be because they've got problems with eating or um, whatever. Um, but obviously those animals will, would want attention. Um, thoroughly recommend going and checking those because from what we've found, um, it's spotting animals that are going off sick a day and a half before um, any real physical so Let's just go through that. How does it work? How does it know that this cow's this sorry heifer is bulling? We're putting them on a week ahead of when the cows are bulling now. On the heifers are bulling now, um, so that it can build a, an algorithm, um, a graph of, of of its normal movements, and anything outside of its normal movements will be will we will be alerted. So each morning um, through the WhatsApp group that we uh, we uh, will let you know which animals are bulling. Um, we'll also, if you wanted us to, um, uh, put the animals on the shedding gate as well. So you, you wouldn't necessarily have to do that yourselves. We have a team of people throughout the UK that work to, um, to help um, alleviate the, the, the workload from the farm. A whole fly? A whole fly? <laughs> Leave him dead. They don't, they don't taste any better here than they do at home. Can you see it? Aerial. She's got that range you talked about of a thousand metres. And then the magic happens in there, really. So I don't know if that was exciting to see, but there you go. And the heifers, they all look pretty relaxed at the moment. It's a beautiful morning this morning. I'm just on my way now to the dairy to see how the altar collars are doing with the heat detection. <laughs> good morning, Adam. How are you? All right, yeah, good, thanks. We're looking for some bullying efforts, my help. So if you didn't have the stickers, finding the numbers would be pretty hard. Yeah. Oh, we're missing four now. We're missing four. Yeah. Because look how, how hard it is. This is only in the heifers, mind. The cows would be a lot easier, but trying to find these numbers, because it's all on one side. You need numbers on both sides, don't you? Yeah, you need or, to double them up. Brand, or a freeze band, but obviously the heifers, we haven't freeze branded them yet, so. Uh, locking head yolks as well, yes. That is obviously a very good way of doing it, actually. where it thinks the movement is ideal for heat detection. Okay, this is what Adam's reading off. He got a WhatsApp group and it basically just, yeah. And there we go. I'm here with Tom, Matthew and Adam and we're gonna actually now discuss how we think the collars went. Matthew. Discuss uh, the collars. How did the collars go? So, uh, up until this year, we've always used the Easter Tech heat detection stickers, as you can see on some of them still. And uh, for the trial of the collars, we thought to ourselves, we'll put the stickers on and oh, we'll yeah. put the collars on 
and we'll see who wins. So, so we put the stickers on and we put the collars on and the system started to work. It takes about a week after you put the collars on before it will tell you that she's bullying. And well, as you can see, the collars have won. We've, we've stopped stickering. Are we gonna purchase them? Probably. <laughs> if very money were no object, correct. definitely. They're far better, they are better than the stickers. They, they're more accurate. Uh, it's an interesting dynamic between us as a team and the AI team, because they've obviously got all the information before they arrive. So they come down the drive and they know how many they're going to serve. And actually, they use it, and that's really good. Um, it's definitely saved us an awful lot of inseminations on the heifers. I would say what you've got as well when you come here in the morning. Yeah. You know you've got, you've got four rather than 14 or whatever else. So we've definitely been guilty in the past of over inseminating the heifers. So we go, oh, I think she's bullying and I think she's bullying. You, you look now, you can see red stickers. And so you go, okay, we'll serve her when she isn't bullying. Uh, one interesting thing about the collars, there were probably about four or five that we served that the collars said were bullying and the stickers were still red. We're not a research farm, we don't no. know whether the stickers were red the next day. So, if, so the reason you don't think you'll get them straight away is you're concerned about the cost? They are expensive. And what sort of return, have you done any calculations on what you think you might, how, how you might pay that back? Um, well, there are savings because we've definitely done fewer inseminations and every time we serve a cow, it's, it's £12 for the straw. Obviously, you don't have to buy stickers, but you have to find a better way of finding the ones that you want than we've currently got. I think the big value of having them on the cows, because we're just talking about having, we've only got them on the heifers this year, the big value of having them on the cows would be the picture that it builds up of the cow's life. So we haven't had the collars on the heifers long enough. So if you have them on the cows all year round, you would see a, a, a diamond, a coloured a coloured icon for when she can't. And then you'd see her first heat, assuming she has one, which is then your reference heat. And that should really occur within a month of calving. And then hopefully you see another heat 21 days later, and then you serve her on the third heat. Well, the problem we've got now standing us as we are today on the farm on day 32 of AI is that there are still probably about 35 cows that we would have liked to have served in a, in, a, in a herd of 500 that we haven't served and we don't really know enough about them and that's a bit our fault. But if you were able to look at the record that the collar had built up, you could say, oh, well, she's been bullying and we missed her or she isn't bullying or she's cycling irregularly. Or, so there's a, there's, there is definitely a saving to be made in cows because we're a block calving herd, cows that we, don't serve in time that we could serve earlier because now obviously we've only got two more cycles if we don't get them in the next two cycles they'll be out so that that could be quite a substantial saving but there's, there's no getting away from the fact that to put collars on a herd this size it's over 50 it's over fifty thousand pounds adam what do you think would you get collars if i could afford them probably um but i'd like them to be more well i'd be able to find the cows be easier a bit easier. Yeah, other than that. Tom, your professional opinion on the cost? <laughs> on the cost? Is it there yet? Uh, it is quite a lot of money, but I do think we would recoup the costs over the time. There you go, so we have a mixed, very mixed bag here, but the, the general consensus, I reckon, is we think they're great, but too expensive. Let's be brutally honest here, we're not being paid by Altair. Well, at the price that we've currently managed to At the price that we've to negotiate. To negotiate. Yeah. But the we will see what is, It always gets cheaper. So we are, I would say, I'd be very confident in saying that we're looking at the future. We just don't know how soon that future is going to come. Thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, notification bells. It all helps. Hope you have a good one.